What up, scallywags? What the hell is a scallywag, anyway? Well, anyway, climbing has a lot of jargon. There's a lot of words that you may not know, so I decided I might do a couple of these episodes where I do, like, the top ten words, climbing jargon words. A lot of you guys have been experienced. Maybe you'll know all these. Maybe there'll be a couple I might throw in there that you haven't heard of yet. But basically, if you ever... Do I have a guidebook somewhere? This is a guidebook. And if you want any hope in understanding one of these things, you're going to have to know some of the jargon of the terrain. So today I'm putting together a maybe a little bit over top 10 list of the most popular climbing terrain terms. So let's hop right into it and uh, we'll get started. <clears throat> okay, we'll start you off with an easy one. This here is called an arete. So it's basically an outward facing ridge or corner. Normally when we're talking about climbing a arete, it's gonna be in a vertical position, but it could be like also a narrow ridge going up a peak so to like a, on a mountain, but uh, yeah, a ret. Ah, moonlight buttress. A buttress is a large protruding face on the wall. It, it basically provides a lot of exposure because um, an exposure is another word that we use. Basically, you really don't know what exposure is, so you feel it. You're like, you're like a little ant on the edge of a plane of glass, and there's just all open air around you. But uh, yeah, a buttress. Uh, what? Yeah, it's basically just a protruding flat wall. <laughs> this here is a gendarme. <laughs> it's a, it's a gendarme. So basically, that's the way it's spelled anyway. Uh, it's just a peak. Uh, you can imagine it as a peak or a pinnacle of rock that's on the top of a, a mountain ridge. Gendarme. Okay, I'm sure you heard of an off width before. So an off width is a width that is off, okay? So it's too big, the width is too big to be good for good, proper like hand jams, like one hand jams, like the crack is just a little bit too big, but it's also too small to get your whole body in there and be like a chimney climb, which I'll cover that in a second. So it's just, it's just off widths are just a whole nother grade of their own. They're, they're just off. When the crack becomes bigger, it's more defined as a fissure now, it gets so big and wide enough that you could do a chimney climb, which is basically what this is, it's a chimney. So you could, there's different techniques, you could go like this, up it, legs, hands, legs, hands, or you could have your back up against the wall and just have your legs. I'll have to cover a whole video on different climbing techniques, man, there's a lot to do. Subscribe if you're new here. Uh, we're gonna cover everything eventually. Uh, what else? Ah, uh, slab climbing. Slab climbing is probably the scariest because usually the wall is completely blank. You're just going, you're making upward progress just on little tab, little granules in the rock. Um, it could be edges and stuff like that. I have to cover that term too. But basically, there's not a lot there to protect yourself. It's just, it's, it's not 90 degrees, it's inclined. So it's a lot of like friction climbing where you're just like applying the right correct amount of pressure and balance to work your way up the climb. Pretty scary stuff because you know if you fall, you're not just falling into thin air, you're taking the uh, sandpaper water slide as I call it. Chalk stone is kind of the same thing. You can think of it as like when you chalk your tires. It's, it, the rock is wedged in between the other rock and you can actually, sometimes they're small enough where you could actually put like uh, Protection, you use it as protection, it's like a placement, uh, like a big giant nut placement made out of rock. So uh, a chalk stone, or some people might just call it a chalk, but uh, here's a really, here's a really big one. <laughs> a corner, so a corner is the opposite of an arete. So a arete would be like outward facing, corner would be inward facing. And the technique you'd use in a corner is stemming, you'd be stemming out, uh, applying pressure and moving your way up and you could lay back maybe the inside of the corner, uh, but corner. Edges. So the gunks is basically just all a bunch of edges, but, but uh, an edge could vary in different sizes. It could be big enough for you to get your whole body on, but that, at that point we might end up calling it a ledge and not an edge. If you could sleep on it, I'd say I'd call it a ledge. 
but anything narrow or smaller, it's flat on top. It could be sideways pulling, we call it an edge too. Edge. A flake. So you can kind of imagine a flake like a, a giant corn flake that's just sitting on the, the edge of a, of a climb. It could be pretty solid, but it's always kind of sketchy. Like this here is a famous flake, the boot flake. It looks like a boot. And everyone says one day it might detach. No one knows why. It's just exactly why it's sitting up there, but it's just sitting there. And they could be a little dodgy. They might fall off. They might not. I mean, you, normally when you whack on them, they'll sound hollow. They could range in sizes and be huge. If they're small enough, you could probably pull them off. Big ones are just sitting up there because they're so heavy. It takes a lot to move them, but you'll know a flake when you see one. <laughs> so a horn is pretty much a horn. Uh, they can range in sizes too, and some of them can make great anchor points. If there's a really solid horn, you could anchor right your rope right around it and create an anchor system right off the horn if it's in the right position and uh, safe, obviously. You have to be able to know that you're not gonna pop off the horn, but you usually could get something right around a horn and uh, it could be pretty bomber. An overhang, so anything that's over like 90 degrees, that's overhanging is an overhang but normally you if someone said oh you know it's right under that overhang it might end up especially if you're in the gunks it might just be something that's like <laughs> at 90 degrees uh overhanging and then you have to get over the overhang and keep climbing overhang so that was your not so top 10 ish uh climbing terrain terms how did you like that did you get them all let me know in the comments below um, if you like this kind of content, subscribe and like and let me know. Maybe I'll do some um, more of these. I mean, I could do handhold, like all the types of body position handholds. I could do top 10 of those things. Those could get pretty jargony. Um, and other things, I could keep going. <laughs> make, a, make a few top 10 things if this is, becomes popular. So like it and let me know. Joshua Perry, climbing out of here. Hey, bear climbers, you all want to see a plot twist? Besides my merch, check my merch store. Link in the description below. Check this out. Check this out, Beta Climbers. Check this out. Beta Climber was alpha this whole time.